What's going on guys, Junior's Tech here back with another video. Now today we're looking at yet again another webcam and I know in the past I've done a lot of webcams but there's a reason for that. So like I said in the past previous videos everyone's working from home still you know even though that the restrictions are going to serve far everyone's still working from home and everyone's still in the need for webcams, audio equipment, microphones, lighting, cameras, you name it. So webcams I'm enjoying doing at the moment and today I've got quite a unique one. So let's just get straight into it. So this is a webcam from Jigger. So guys, this is the full HD 1080p webcam from Jigger. And this is the stream webcam and also comes with three colors and lighting modes. So a little bit about what's going on in the box. You've got a noise reduction microphone. You've got face tracking. A ring light and also h264 encoding so that's quite a good one and it shows you a little bit on the back there of roughly what it should look like on your on your laptop or whatever you're going to be using this with and it does tell you the lighting modes so you've got a white light a warm light and a natural light so a little bit going on with the product specs so uh resolution is 1932 by 1088 or 2560 by 1440 hmm we'll see how that goes and then we've also got video streams so this could be 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames or you've got 2560 by 1440 at 20 frames per second so not too bad got 24 individual leds on here which are allowed for 12 white 12 yellow and 24 for a natural light and a little bit about the viewing which is a 90 degree viewing angle and a 1.5 meter around 5 foot usb cable so why don't we just get into it let's get this opened up so let's see what we've got in here and again we have another tripod so first of all the only thing really it comes with is a small little instruction manual which will pretty much tell you how to install it tells you a little bit about the information nothing majorly exciting about that and then we have a tripod so if you remember up in the cards there i did one regarding hd 1080p tenvis and it came with the same tripod so this seems to be quite a popular touch with webcam creators now um added in this little webcam tripod which isn't too bad and we have the webcam itself wow that actually does look really futuristic so as you can see the leds on the side here you've got the camera center and you've got a microphone right on the top there and a little logo there with a jigger on it and then on the inside here it's pretty much the same as what you get now so you've got You've got rubber fascias there that are protected by a sleeve so these can hook onto the side of your laptop your pc or anything like that and it's not going to damage it you've just got to remember to take off the plastic covering and then same with the bottom here so if you're going to use this on the tripod which is the tripod that comes included if you remove the plastic packaging which is just on the side just like that you can see you've got this rubber little fascia here which is going to protect any device that's sat on and you also have a quarter inch thread there so if you wanted to, you could screw in your tripod just like that. So if that's how you want to have it, you could have it on your tripod. But if not, don't worry about it. So I really, I really want to test out these LEDs. So what I'm going to do is actually, before we go into any of the specs or actually showing how this works, I want to have a look at the LED to see how bright they actually are. So I'm going to get it quickly plugged in, in the back of my PC. So I've got it plugged in. Um, I just need to try and find out how to actually use, how to actually turn on the actually LED light. So let's have a look see so pull the switch ring for two seconds to replace the warm light oh oh damn look at that hey that's awesome it's got a little touch sensor in it so touch it again for two seconds turns into warm light and touch it again for two seconds turns into natural light wow that, now now i've got to admit that's actually pretty cool because you can't actually see any of the like a sensor or a, or a plate or anything so that's actually quite good so they've hidden the little sensor right under here so as you can see if i hold that down for two seconds it's not a button or anything i'm not clicking anything i'm just like tapping down on it like a little touchpad and it actually turns the led on and off now i haven't actually seen <laughs> i haven't seen anything like that before like normally there's a, like a little button or something that you've got to click or hold and that's actually really nice I really want to see how this looks when it's on OBS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck this on OBS Studios. I'm actually going to take a look what it looks like. So guys, I'm now looking through the 1080p webcam from Jigger. I've got my lights turned off in the studio, well, in the area, so it doesn't affect this. So we're going to try out the three LEDs. And I'm currently watching it on OBS Studios, so I can keep an eye on, like, see if it's making a difference in colour on my face. So as you can see, 
you are currently live on OBS Studio. And that looks really cool. Sweet. Right, anyways, so I've got all lights off now, so I'm going to turn on one of the LEDs to see if it makes it. God, I need a shave. Whew. So we're going to turn on one straight away, so just slightly tapping the camera. Then that's one. Wow, that's actually quite a bright light. I have to admit. So this is the this is what they class as the uh, the white light. Next one is warm. So turn that one on. That's more of a warm light. So yeah, that's not actually too bad. I've got no other lighting. I've only got the lighting that I'm looking at right now. Uh, as you can see, there it's a bit of a a warm light. And then we'll go for the natural light. So yeah, that do, it does make quite a bit of a difference. So I suppose if you are uh, streaming or anything like that or having a video conference and I don't know you don't have the light on for some strange reason this is going to make a big difference so I turn them all off now you can see there it goes back to being black and I see why they've added an LED and it is quite a large LED I have to say so I like the white light the white light's a lot brighter so it makes it a bit easier for you to see but I have to admit the quality alone isn't actually that bad so I've got all my lights turned off like I said so the quality alone isn't too bad I'm running it through 1080p and I'm also running it through OBS Studio. And obviously all the audio is also coming through uh, the webcam as well. I haven't got my audio device connected. So all my audio is coming through the webcam. And surprisingly, I'm quite happy with this. So yes, you can use this for all different types of things. So if you want to use this for your video conferences, work calls, I don't know, talking, video talking with your friends and even streaming. So if you're a gamer, if you're new to it and you can't afford you know, big cameras, DSLRs and all that sort of stuff and you don't want to use capture cards, a webcam is going to be a great choice for you. So let's go back to the camera. So that was the Ultra HD 1080p camera from Jigger. Now, I have to admit, when I first saw it, it looks very futuristic. As you can see, you know, you've got the LED lights, then you've got the whole casing and it is quite a large webcam. But when you actually work it and then you figure out, obviously, the LEDs actually are really good. You get three different settings. You can mess around with the frames per second. I was running mine for OBS Studio and it allowed me to mess around with quite a few of the settings. So that was quite nice. And just the compatibility. So if you want to use it on the side of your monitor, your PC, on a tripod or even your own tripod. Because it's got a quarter inch screw on the bottom. So it's compatible with a different type of tripods as well. And you know what? It's actually not that bad. So the outer skin is plastic and the material is more of a... They've more of went for cheap but cheerful. And it is a budget webcam, I have to admit. But it is a very nice one. So it is a great webcam. And like I said, if you're going to be using this for your conference calls, streaming, talking with your friends, this really is going to be perfect. Because, you know, I've done reviews on 4K webcams before. And fair enough, you're recording in 4K. But who really needs to? Do you really need to record in 4K? What What is the issue? Like, an amazing resolution to record in, especially for a webcam. So on that part, I definitely would recommend grabbing one. If you head down the links in the description, the links will be there. So if you want to go check them out for yourself, I recommend you go doing so. It is actually a really good camera. Plus, it's got built-in LEDs. And with the touch of a button, you can turn them on. So yeah. Go check it out. Check down the links in the description. But as always, guys, this is the end of the video. I'm Junis Tech, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like button, and as always, subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss out any of my further videos, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.